you're a pick me. I'm gonna help you fix that. So you are or you used to be a pick me girl, but now you wanna be a girl's girl? I got you. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you wanna do is acknowledge that you're insecure and seeking validation and that you hung around the wrong types of girls when you tried to make girl friendships the first time around. Typically, pick me girls say things like, oh, boys are better, girls are too much drama to be around, girls didn't like me, they didn't wanna be friends with me. The girls that didn't wanna be friends with you likely were toxic and weren't girls' girls themselves, so they treated you badly and naturally you went running in the other direction. But unfortunately, that's just kind of how most girl friendships go until we all get to college because that's where we start growing up and we start weeding out toxic mindsets and others continue on with those toxic mindsets to the grave. Number two is to understand that the validation that you're getting from the guys more than likely isn't because they actually think you're cool it's because you also don't like women. They know that you would prefer to bash your own if it meant being liked by them and no matter how much guys try to insist that they don't like needy people they love feeling needed so if they think you need them they'll covertly mold you to have whatever behaviors and mindsets and thought patterns they want everyone else to have so that you'll stick around number three is to ask yourself where else you can get that validation from that feeling of being lit up by something that you love look really deep inward to find out who you are when you're not around them what things do you actually like as opposed to things you feel forced to like what topics do you secretly wish you could talk about what experiences do you want to have do you wish you could be more feminine do you wish you could be more masculine do you wish you could be neither and just exist? The parts of yourself that you hide for fear of shame from your friend group is who you really are on the inside. And I put friend group in quotes because if they're shaming you for being who you are, they're not your friends. Number four, put yourself in a safe space to explore your true identity. Watch the anime. Try on the clothes. Change the way that you walk to fit how you want to feel more accurately. Start accepting yourself because that's gonna make it so much easier to accept other people. The human mind is a very strange thing. Envy brings out different actions in different people. You may think you're happier with the guys, but you're secretly envious of other people because they have the courage to be the person that you aren't and they're not getting shamed for it. But what you don't know is that they likely did get shamed for being who they are, but instead of accepting the shame, they change their reality. You have to start spending time away from toxicity to allow your true self to come out because shame brings fear and fear is paralyzing. It's next to impossible to bring your true self out if you try to do it in a place of shame, especially if it's happening in the same place where that shame first started. All right, number five, anytime you find yourself saying something negative about other girls or females, sit down and immediately dissect it. Where did this come from? What am I actually mad about? Why does this bother me so much? Am I mad about how short her skirt is? Or am I mad about the confidence she has that I don't have to show her legs off? Am I mad that she loves herself too much and is self-absorbed because she's taking selfies? Or am I mad that I delete every selfie that I take because I hate it and then I don't try again for another couple of weeks? Am I mad that she does too much with her outfits? Or am I mad that I don't have the courage to do enough? This is why I brought up envy. Nine times out of 10, when somebody is irritated at somebody else for doing something that literally has no effect on anybody else's life except their own, it's because of envy. It just takes some exploration to find out that that's the true cause. A journal can be really helpful for this because there's a lot going on up here, so it can be kind of overwhelming to try and sift through everything without it. Number six, and this is probably my favorite practice, practice validating other women. When you see another girl on social media who you think is pretty, go into her comments and post, ah, so pretty on her Instagram page. If you're in the mall and you see a girl from far away whose outfit you think is cute, allow yourself to like the outfit. I promise it's not gonna take anything away from you. When you see an elaborate makeup look on the internet, don't be like that TikTok sound that's like, I'm so bad at makeup, I'm so bad at makeup. You're allowed to think, damn, this is really cool. I wish I knew how to do this. Is there a tutorial I can follow somewhere? Those pages on TikTok and IG, like girls and betches and stuff like that, accounts that post really relatable content about girls and the girlhood experience, it's okay to relate to other women and find those things funny. Even if you can't relate entirely, it's still okay to find something amusing. Number seven, 
allow yourself to feel your feelings and your emotions. Remember that part of this whole guys not liking girls thing is them also not liking feelings and emotions because they're associated with girls because we're so emotional. And yes, we're working on changing that narrative, but for right now it still exists. So by you hanging out with these guys, you're subconsciously teaching yourself that feelings and emotions are gross things to have. So when you start actually opening up, you're gonna feel pushback from yourself. You're gonna start thinking to yourself, ugh, I shouldn't be feeling like this, you know, I, I shouldn't be weak like the other girls because I'm not like the other girls. Yes, you are. You've just tamped everything down and lied to yourself about it. Because what's actually wrong with being like other girls? Nothing except that being who they are requires confidence you don't have. You wanted validation, but you couldn't do it like them. So then you also decided you wanted to be unique. You wanted to be noticed. You wanted to stand out. You know why you feel like that? Because you feel neglected and overlooked. You don't allow yourself to process your own feelings and emotions, but they still need attention, so you keep looking to somebody else to do it for you. But that still doesn't work because that still requires feeling them, which is gross, remember? That's the conditioning you were influenced to have hanging out with the boys. So you push back on any help that you think you're getting, and the cycle continues. That's why you need to start within yourself and you'll get to that place that you want to be much faster. Good luck on your journey to becoming a girl's girl. We're rooting for you.